within the dojo kun of the jindokan dojo um there's a line which says train considering your physical strength now what that means is like your, your training is supposed to adapt according to your age ability experience um your overall health so there is no one size fits all because it's dependent upon the situation and the person what stage of life they're at so therefore avoid falling into the trap of like one size fits all or you know what's considered optimal it's something to aim for but for you it might not be right one thing i did notice a big difference between the way training is done in okinawa and the way training is done in the west generally by people who have not experienced the way training is done in okinawa the big difference over there is that training is done for longevity for overall health and for quality of life which is why you see so many practitioners or, or you did used to see so many practitioners of an advanced age because the training kind of um leads to that that's the overall goal to live a good long healthy active life and to not die a slow painful death where you're dependent upon loads of other people to look after you and wipe your ass and stuff like that so with your training being it for the long haul and avoid this temptation of of making every session a hell session or a sweat out or you know it's sort of like a thousand rep challenges all the time and stuff like that you don't need it every now and then it's good for the soul it's good for the spirit but generally consistency wins 